Okay. Welcome back. <coughs> what we're going to be talking about today is going to be on who he is and his futures. We're going to be taking you through OES application as a whole and different areas in which you can get different things, the benefits and how it's good for your company or for your school or your organizations. So please, stay tuned. For you want to log in into OES, you go to OES application, you click on OES application, it shows you the login portal, a login interface. Then you can log in, you must have created your username and password. That was in the earlier lessons and um, lectures that we had on OES TV. But this time around, just type in that password and username. At this point in time, I'm going to be using uh, a user called Okwe Allen 20. That means this particular person has been registered as, as a school owner or an administrator to his school and we'll all see what he can do on the system. So, Now, I've logged in, and what I need to do is change the role back to administrator role. I'm changing the role back to administrator role now. Okay, the role has been changed back to administrator role. As you can see here, I'm going back to the dashboard so that I can start discussing this with you. Right now, at this right hand side, Opel can actually chat with anybody in the organization. Of course, you can see that at the top right hand side, the organization that is actually employing out that is using OES has already been registered and profiled on the system. So whatever he or whatever anybody is doing in this organization is kept in this organization. It is not seen by anybody outside this organization. So with this chat screen by the right hand side, lower right hand side, Oppo can chat with anybody in this organization. So I'm going to be minimizing that. Of course, there should be a list of people here, but Okwe is the only person who has been profiled in this organization now. So at the right hand side, at the left hand side, if you follow my cursor, you realize you have OES pin and attendance. Each student coming in or anybody coming in can actually just click on the attendance. They will be stored for review. They will be stored to check when they will be. I mean, they will be. Their details will be stored online, and they will be able to people or the administrator will be able to review it later on. If you come down, you see a list of things that can be done by okay. As a school owner or, or as a school administrator, you can profile your school. You can create teachers, you can create students. You can even see school work that has been done by your students. You can create the time or the session, the module, and what have you. You can create you can create even the topics that needed to be done with the modules that is needed also. It's still coming up. 
you can see the scheme of work and this is how you create the models aside that you can set questions assignments examination with the system and if you don't want to go through that route you can decide to just upload already set questions This is where you set the question. You can upload scores that have been gotten from the questions that you have set that you set manually. You can have your effective trade reports. You can have upload your student personal reports, or you can create blog blogs for them. Here at the student collaboration forum, the parent and the I mean the, the student and the and the teachers can chat and score can be awarded to them. We click on this. As you can see, well because I have not created any topic. That's why you're not seeing any topic selected, being selected here. In fact, you can create mathematical mathematical uh, topics. I mean, for all, you can write mathematical formulas on this and use it to track the system and collaborate on it. Other people can also join you with it. There is an event. Uh, inventory management system and financial management system include uh, which also takes into consideration e invoicing management system at this instance you can create costs in cure on the system you can add it here for tracking easy tracking instead of using your normal accounting uh, system after you've created that, you can actually check ledger to see whether what you've created, how you have been doing, who is responsible for who, and who owns the account, who is the one who have taken that particular account. All this can be listed here. And this can also be printed out. At the right hand side, upper right hand side, if you click on it, beside the logo, you see the stakeholders relationship management system and you can do all this. You can see. You can check your attendance, you can manage the attendance, you can manage the report academic calendar you can upload the academic calendar let me show you the academic calendar you can upload your curriculum see you can actually manage the health you can do the health management for each student in the, in the school you can have the communication book you can do the school boss management you can do teachers management and teachers management has to do with the lesson capturing of the lessons for the students to be able to see can you see uh, virtual century does not have any content on the system yet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to I'm going to log out and log in as a school that has a content curriculum on there on the system. <coughs> 
So right now I'm logging in as a, as a as a member of this uh, school. You realize that different school can log in as a different. I mean, can can log in at any point in time and create their details and update their details. Okay, so I've logged in as this school owner, Marvelous Unique School. And you see that it doesn't have anything to do with the Virtual Century School. Here you can create a calendar, you can discuss with teachers. Like I was saying it all the time, if you, if you go to teachers management system, All the curriculums that have been uploaded into the system can be seen. Here. Can be seen here. And this can even connect, can even connect to the video, to YouTube video for lectures, archived lectures. I'm also going to log in as a as a student that is using this particular uh, portal. You can manage all the accounts, the leads. You can manage each classroom, each modules. You can get their report sheets. I'm going as primary four, primary three. So I can get the report sheet. And so let me log out. So I log in. I, I, I will now log in as a student. You see what I'm going to see. So I've logged in as a student now. I've changed my role to student. I can see what I can see by the left hand side. This particular name of the school, this curriculum, the classes that needed to be taken is all listed here. Take for instance, I'm going to this curriculum. Lectures have been captured for this particular curriculum for this particular term. So if I click on this, this particular course or subject or topics, it's going to bring me the lecture. Which can be printed out. This is a lecture list. And the system also has a library. If, the, if that particular school has a library of books, and it doesn't want other people to, to, to see it, it can also keep its content safe. Can you see the lecture? This can be this can be played, this can be viewed, note introduction, and this will save a lot of stress on the on the on the plat on the uh, level of traveling from one place or the other to take lectures. 
And what the school can actually do in order to if this I mean in order to synchronize all the lectures that have been done, provided the school is um is does not have a physical uh physical structure, there could always be one day that all lectures can be can be caught together. I mean, can be all all students can be called together, and they cannot have a flashback on all the lectures that have been that have been given out through the system. Well, we're also working on another another topic called augmented reality, another area, management area called augmented reality, which is AI. But we'll not be discussing it here for now. With the system, school can actually set questions. They can set assignments. And that assignment can be marked automatically. We give the students, we give the, uh, the, uh, the teachers more time to study and research. We want to appreciate you for watching this lecture with us. Um, for now, I remain Akinero Oke from OES TV. We hope strongly that you'll be one of the people using this product. Thank you.